Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be customising the Enus Paragon S in GTA Online. Welcome back to the channel guys, we're continuing our customization of the bottom dollar bounties DLC cars. We've got three vehicles left to go, today we're going to be customizing the Enus Paragon S. It's based on the Bentley Mulliner Batteur, um, if you didn't know already, uh, basically a new Bentley sort of special version. I have no idea what kind of customization this thing has available. I'm not really a fan of big posh saloon vehicles, um, but it is a new DLC vehicle. It might surprise me. We've already customized a few of the new vehicles, so if you've missed that, then don't forget to check those out after this video. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when we customize these vehicles. But let's go ahead and take this thing up to the custom shop and see what we can do with it. Okay, so here we are in the custom shop with the Paragon S. Now this thing is in the sport category, if you didn't know. Um, we'll go ahead and fully upgrade this thing with full armor. We'll go for full race brakes, full engine tuning. Again, no visual stuff. A little bit of a shame, but there we go. Uh, Exhaust options to start with. We can't really see the exhaust options because the rear bumper is black. Um, but I'll do my best to try and zoom in so you can see. We got the stock exhaust. We got the twin exhaust. We've got a titanium tip version of that. Then we got the twin bore exhaust. We got the titanium bore exhaust. We got the uh, twin race exhaust. So it's basically the same but with carbon tips. We've got the square exhaust. we got the twin carbon encased exhaust. And we've got the twin carbon gold exhaust. Very, very unusual. Um, I think I like this, the sort of square one. Maybe we'll go for... Ooh. Maybe we'll go for these, the twin exhaust. Or do I like the stock? I think we'll leave the stock actually. A uh, grill option. So we've got this sort of mesh grill at the moment. We can go for oh my days. We can go for the chrome hexagon mesh. That is hideous. We've got a black version of that. That is a little bit better. We got a secondary version. So the secondary version at the moment is pink. Let me go ahead and just change that quickly to uh we'll just go with I don't know. We'll just go with a blue. We'll set it to ultra blue just for now, just so you can see what the uh, secondary colour is actually changing. So, grill options. So, there you go. Anything in blue will be the secondary. Uh, we've got the chrome wire mesh, which is only on the lower part of the grill, which is interesting. We've got the black wire mesh, which is the whole grill. So, I'm wondering whether that was maybe a mistake on Rockstar's part there. We got the secondary wire mesh, we got the chrome tight wire mesh, we got a black version of that, and a secondary version of that. I'm going to leave the stock because that just looks the nicest, honestly. Uh, hood options next. So we've got the red hood latch pins, we've got blue ones, we've got gold ones, and we've got chrome ones. Um, so if you want to build this thing as a race car, I'm not really sure what build I want to go for with this. I'd go for a kind of a posh build with it, I guess, uh, since that's the kind of vehicle it is. Uh, we can go for a secondary hood, a carbon hood. We've got a vented hood. So how is that different to the stock one? I can't see the vents. Oh, they're just right at the front, they're tiny, tiny little vents. We've got a secondary version of that, and a carbon. Then we've got the sport vented hood, secondary version of that, and carbon. Then we've got race hood, so it's got some vents with some hood catches. We've got that in secondary, and in carbon. We've got the twin intake hood. It looks very strange on a vehicle like this. We've got a secondary version of that. And a carbon version. 
And finally, we've got the heat extractor. We've got that in secondary and in carbon. Um, not really a fan of any of those. They look a little bit odd. Um, I guess we'll go just for the vented hood in primary. Uh, headlight options. They're a bit xenon. We can make them even more blue if we want to. Of course, you can go ahead and change those in the car show or at the arena workshop. I always forget the name of the arena workshop. Livery options next. I'm expecting there to be some kind of Union Jack livery with this thing. We've got black stripes. We've got a white version of that. Then we've got the black geometry. We've got a white geometry. We've got the black fracture. So the whole front part is black and then it fades into the sort of primary colour. We've got a white version of that. Then we've got the street camo. And we've got street camo with red. Okay, and then we got the 76 camo. So actually, no Union Jack livery, which I was kind of expecting. That's a bit of a shame, to be honest. Um, mirror options next. We've got the primary mirrors. We can paint them secondary. Oh dear, I think that might be a little bit of a mistake on Rockstar's part there. They've only changed one of the mirrors to the secondary colour. That's quite funny. The carbon one is correct. We can go for full carbon. I'm just going to leave them primary to sort of like half half. But that's quite funny that they've only painted one. Oh, Rockstar. Oh dear, never mind. Uh, plate options. We've got the new E. Cola and Sprunk ones. They were added in a few DLCs ago. They're not new with this DLC. But I just like to remind people that they're there, that they exist. The rear diffuser options. We've got the stock rear diffuser. We can go for a carbon rear diffuser. We can go for a secondary. We've got the low diffuser. We've got a carbon version of that and a secondary version of that. We've got the bolt-on diffuser. We've got a carbon version of that and the secondary. Then we've got the secondary trim version of that. We've got the race diffuser. We've got that in carbon. We've got that in secondary and secondary trim. And that is actually the lot. I'm going to leave it. Uh, actually, I think maybe we... Shall we go for it in carbon? Um, yeah, let's go for it in carbon. Why not? Um, it's a shame we can't make some more of that back portion primary colour. Sort of where the number plate is. Because... Uh, it's a little bit too much black going on at the back end there, but anyway. Um, paint options we'll come back to. I have an idea of what colour I want to paint this thing. We do have trim interior option colour available. So we'll come back to that at the end as usual. Skirt options next. We've got the stock skirts. We can go for inset skirts. We can go for uh, carbon inset and secondary. Then we've got the lip skirt. We've got a carbon version of that and a secondary. It is a shame that we can't actually have a primary version of these. Obviously, you can make the secondary colour the same as the primary, so it is effectively primary, but it's a little bit annoying. Uh, we've got the tip lip skirt. We've got that in carbon and in secondary trim. Then we've got the full secondary version. We've got the winged skirt. We've got that in carbon. Secondary trim and full secondary. Then we got the high winged skirt. We got that in carbon. Secondary trim and in full secondary. I'm going to go for the inset skirt. Because um, I think that looks quite nice. Or maybe we'll go for that in carbon to match the rear diffuser. That'll look quite good. Splitter options. I was not expecting splitters on this thing. So it kind of has two little splitters on each side. We can go for a plastic splitter, a carbon splitter, the secondary splitter, then we've got the rake splitter, okay, add some sort of like canards in the middle there. We've got a carbon version of that and a full secondary, then we've got the secondary accent version. We've got a bolt on no with the little there. strut mounts there. Um, we've got the carbon bolt on, which does, does add a little secondary bit there. We got the bolt on mark two, 
we got a carbon version of that, we got a full secondary, and then we got the secondary accent. Then we got the rake mark two. Okay. We got a carbon version of that, a full secondary, and a secondary trim. I'm just gonna go for the carbon splitter. Do you want to go for that? It's not really that kind of car. I don't think we're gonna go for a splitter. It just doesn't look right on this thing. Um, spoiler options. Now, I'm not sure. It looks like there might be like an active aero spoiler in the middle there. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll go through all the spoiler options, but I think I might keep it stock just to see whether that is an active aero spoiler. So we've got the lip spoiler. We've got that in carbon. Then we've got the sport wing. We've got a secondary version of that. And a low GT wing. Then we've got the secondary low GT wing with the sort of secondary mounts I guess we got the race wing we've got that in secondary and then we've got the actual secondary colored spoiler we've got an angled wing we've got a secondary angled wing we've got the secondary angled wing again um, we've got the high race wing we've got that with the secondary mounts and then the secondary colored spoiler we've got a lot of spoiler options the gt mark ii we've got that in secondary and secondary again then we've got the gt mark three wing we've got that in secondary mounts and secondary color and we've got the extreme downforce bgw that is just absolutely hideous. I guess if you're going for a race car build, but it just doesn't look right on a Bentley, let's be honest. We've got a secondary mounted version and secondary spoiler. Um, I'm going to leave it standard. I actually think it looks best without a spoiler anyway, and I want to see whether that is an active aero wing. It looks like it could be. Uh, sunstrip options next. We've got the black sunstrip. We've got a primary and we've got a secondary. Uh, we're going to just leave that standard. Um, suspension options next. Now, the suspension is quite high. Uh, we can get a decent drop out of this thing. That actually looks much better. So we're going to go for full competition suspension. We'll go for full race transmission and turbo tuning. This thing does have quite a throaty engine sound. Um, I think the real life version is a twin turbo V8. Um, I could be wrong on that. So I'm guessing it's the same in GT Online. Now wheel options. I believe these wheels are only available on this car. They might be available on the Paragon and the Paragon R. I could be wrong. But they look absolutely hideous anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and change them up for something a little bit better. Okay, I found these which I think are going to look quite good with the colour I've decided to go for. Um, they're called Solars. Um, I've gone ahead and painted them black and they are in the high-end category. Um, so I think they're going to look pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and add some bulletproof tyres. And we'll add a little bit of light smoke window tint. And there we go. Now I'm thinking for this thing, Bentleys look quite good in green so I think we're going to go for a pearlescent uh, sort of dark green is going to look quite good maybe not an actual dark green but like a racing green something a little bit brighter what does it look like in a bright green I think that's a little bit too bright I like the racing green yes the racing green is just a little bit brighter that looks good and the bright green pearlescent, we could go for lime green. I think that's a bit too much. The bright green looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, the secondary color is obviously going to change anything that you chose as a secondary option. Does it change anything on the interior? Yes, it does change the stitching around the seats. Does it change anything else? Um, I don't think so. So I guess we'll just go ahead and match that um, as a green colour. We'll go for the bright green. Um, and then we do have the trim option. So we can actually paint the whole interior if we want to. 
Oh my days, that looks hilarious. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it black. I think that looks better in black. And I think those wheels with the with the green actually has come together very, very nicely. I'm quite pleased with that. So let's go ahead and take this thing outside, see what kind of performance it has. We'll open up all the doors, etc. And then I'll give you my final verdict. All right, so here we are outside. And as predicted, it does have active aero, which is quite cool. Um, obviously, if you apply one of these spoiler options, then the active aero will be like sort of cancelled. It won't work. So if you do want to use the active aero, then just leave it standard like this. Um, it does look a little bit odd. I'm not really a huge fan of the active aero on this car. I like active aero, obviously, but not on this vehicle. It just doesn't look right. Uh, but I think the green actually suits this thing quite well. Um, it does sound kind of similar to the real life vehicle. It has that sort of V8 growly, grumbly noise which I think fits the kind of vehicle very, very well. Um, but let's take it down here to the car park and open up all the doors and stuff. And here we are with all the doors open. It looks quite nice. Um, and we've got a fairly detailed engine bay. We've got some lovely carbon intakes going on there. Uh, some parts of it are detailed like the intake, but then the battery is absolutely terrible. That is just amazing texturing. The radiator is actually quite high textured, at least the top part of it is. Um, again, I love those wheels. I just think they look really good on this car. Uh, the interior looks to be the same as the Niobe, which we customized in the last episode. I could be wrong on that. Oh dear, we've got some bullet holes going on. Uh, please ignore that. Uh, but yes, it does appear to be similar or the same. The boot is absolutely tiny. Look at that tiny little boot lid. That's so cute. But yeah, it does have a little active aero spoiler on there. And when you actually brake, it does like flap up and down, which is quite cool. Okay, let's have a little look at the headlights. So we'll just turn those on. And yeah, nothing too extravagant. Um, the little sort of headlight surrounds do light up, which is quite cool. Um, and then there's just sort of the main beams in the middle there. Uh, the rear tail lights are just very, very basic, nothing too extreme there. And then we've got the reverse lights just above it. So as I said at the start of the video, I'm not a huge fan of sort of luxury saloon cars like this thing. Um, so I'm not personally going to be buying it in GT Online, but I guess it is kind of a welcome addition to people who like vehicles like this. So um, I'm kind of happy that they added it. It's always nice to have new vehicles and it adds a bit more variety to the game. Um, I think it does look quite good in green. Let me know what you guys think. Um, what color did you paint yours if you have bought one? Let me know if you are going to be buying one or if you like the Bentley Muller Bateau in real life. Um, personally, I've never actually seen one in real life. I've seen photos and that's about it. Um, but that is my customization and showcase of the new Paragon S in GT Online. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did like the video, a like would be appreciated. And if you don't want to miss any of the latest customization videos or videos we've done in the past, then don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.